Hello and welcome to Two Point Campus. Now this is a brand new game that's just come out. I think it's out brand new completely, not just on Game Pass, but certainly it's brand new on Game Pass. So we are going to start, and basically I've kind of gone through this menu before. When I first did it, it gave a bit more description of what this was. However, I'm just going to have to kind of give you that description. So basically we're starting a new save uh, and I think the general premise is you start off small and then you get the opportunity to use a new one. I think that's basically what we're doing. Now, I don't actually know how we get to... Oh, you just click on it. Okay, so basically it's a countryside, college, low expectations, a nice canal and a good place to start your career. So as, like I said, basically it's just the tutorial level, if you like. Uh, low expectations, etc., etc. Now, I think it, it you basically just... This game is basically running a school, effectively, in like a cool uh, 3D setting, almost like a zoo tycoon or a uh, hospital tycoon. You know, that kind of low, low end, kind of funny, meant to be kind of cool atmosphere. Now, I've got the sound turned off, so we're kind of hearing just for purposes of recording, but I'm guessing there's a nice theme song in the background, etc. So we're going to get cracking. So welcome to Freshly... Meadows where life moves slowly and expectations are lowly. Good rhyming words there. The two-point countryside is a perfect place to start your career and learn the ropes and make mistakes and hit the ground running. So we've got an intake of 12, uh, 10. So basically, we need to build our school by the sound of it. So welcome to the campus. Before you start churning out geniuses, you'll need to learn the basics of campus management. Okay, try moving the camera around. So it's going to do the basic camera. And like I'm using the joystick... Uh, but basically, the controls are very much very simple. I don't know what it would be like with a mouse, but certainly with, with the joystick and the controller, it's, it's very simple. Our campus is going to be running basically a science course. Let's build the science lab. Okay, so we so just press X, uh, hit the build tab, hit the science lab. I'm guessing as we go, they'd potentially be more complicated than that. I think as it, when it goes blue, that's the basic requirements, so 6 by 5 Put a door in, and then we just need to put in the basic equipment needed. So I'm going to put that in the center. I think that's all we need for now. So I'm just going to, and then you have to press Y to confirm build. So now that we're, it's been built, now that's, let's hire a teacher. So we need to hire a teacher. I apologize for any background noise. Unfortunately, I'm not in this house on my own. So I've hired a teacher. Uh, great work. Uh, we now have everything we need to start running our science course. When we are ready, select start the new year. Now, I don't know how we do that, but I guess it's good. Ah, oh, it's at the top of the screen. Press Y. Okay, so we've started our new year. Uh, I don't know what all the buttons do. That bring, Oh, that brings up the thing, the calendar and down the calendar. So we've only got one class, which is uh, science. So we're going to quickly, I think it's just going to go through that, that class. Everyone's going to join. Are you nervous? It says, not particularly as I have a, sla a slurp of my coffee. I apologize for any sound effects there. So I don't know what, if I, have we got speed through this? I think if we press, I assume people would just start going to the class, but it doesn't look like anyone's coming in. Yes, they are. So teacher goes in, that's good. Good job there. I think of some of these games, I sometimes wonder if they could bring the walls down. I don't know whether we can do that. Uh, look, that's the students are in the very first class. So I think we might bring just to pause, there we go. So they're coming into their very first class. Go learn all about the science. This crazy machine, I mean, I've, I've, done, I've seen many a science lesson in my life and have never seen a machine quite like this one. So that, which apparently produces puffs of smoke in the middle of nowhere, so that's great. I don't know why this dude is not in his lesson. He's obviously not doing a very good job. He's already truanting in the first day, which is not great. I think we're gonna speed it forward uh, try and get some science lesson done. Students learn to gain experience points. Yeah, you can see them doing that, which is cool. This lesson, uh, this lesson, this episode isn't going to be very long. I just wanted people to see what the game's about. So we've got a bit of profit down there, but 8,000 in profit, which is interesting for only having one course. Uh, I don't know if it tells us anything else about this. Hide objectives, career goals. Okay, leaderboards. Okay. So we're 75 cent done. Again, I don't know why these people are out and about. Are they trying to say they want something? Yeah, cool. I have no idea. So we're just kind of waiting. I sometimes wonder if you could see a bit more what's going on. That'd be nice. But apparently, 
that is not what they wanted you to do, so that's okay. So students have passed their first class, suddenly did not do all that well. Seems that a number of them were distracted by one need or another. Okay, as a student that has everything they need to be more happy, less distracted, and be able to focus on their studies in a few, uh, basically a cheerful way. Enthusiastic is the word that I was missing there. A student's need is such as their first toilet comfort will affect their overall happiness. Happy students perform better in class and earn more XP. Take a look at your students and see what we can do to improve the campus. Now, I did play through this once and I didn't really get what, what I was trying to get out there, but the key to student uh, hospitality is to remember three R's. Students need somewhere to relax themselves, somewhere to rest themselves, and somewhere to relieve themselves. Sure, two of these things might be the same thing, but it does sound convincing. Let's build a dormitory and a bathroom to keep people happy or comfortable. Okay, so back to the build tab. Now we want a dormitory, which is 7,000. I don't know, if, like I say, again, it goes blue when you're at your basic size uh, or what the, ba you know, the size it has to be. I don't know how many beds we need in here. Should we put in, let's put in a couple. I wish that would more, um, what's the right word? Like, I'd, I'd probably want that against the wall, so I kind of wish that it would automatically do that. Um, which is an annoying that it doesn't do that, but that's okay. Uh, do we need anything else? Probably put one of those in here, maybe. There you go, it's just built. So I'm going to go in here and move these, because, I, like I say, I wish in some ways it would automatically uh, pin it to the wall, especially for something like a bed, because that makes perfect sense for that to be what you'd expect. So dormitories are a great place for students to relax when they're low on energy. One bedroom between five students is considered normal on a campus. Okay, so I don't know if I put in the five things in there, but that's fine. Students may dream of their own bed, but they're happily to share. Oh, okay, so that as long as you've got enough for them to share, it's all good. Okay, so now we need to move on to bathroom. So we're building our bathroom. We can build this relatively big because you know we're going to have to come back at some point and add stuff so we'll just make it big on the thing there so a couple of sinks in there perfect so we've done both of those okay so unlock the shower room great i don't know if we needed to make i think did you hear that i think our students might be hungry traditional campus off range of food and drink did you know sustain life add some vending machines okay so we go this time to items and this time to vending machines now i'm going to make use of the walls that we've got here. And I'm gonna place that there, perfect. So let's do that. So if it was up to the students, I'm sure they'd all be living off their own filth, but luckily we have a little say in the matter. Let's hire a janitor. So I will say about this game is that the tutorial is very fast paced and very easy. Uh, there's a lot going on on the screen, but it's very easy to see the different stuff. It wants us to build a bin now, I believe. Going back to items and some bins. So let's put a bin over here. Some people be much better than me at this. I'm, I'm, I am good at this kind of stuff to an extent, but I, I sometimes forget what needs to be placed where and to make art, you know, make things look really good. So what was it asking us to do now? It's asking us to do pass a class with C grade. Okay, so if we're going to fast forward, so they're in the they're in the um, lecture theatre now. So our school's already starting to take shape. There could be a rubbish down there. Janet's not working as hard as he might do. Uh, we'll just do this class, and I think we're going to call it a day after that, to be honest. So I just wanted to do a first sort of tutorial level, as it were, so people could see uh, what the game's all about. Let's give it like a first impressions. So my first impressions, this is, is good. It's very similar to the this Hospital Tycoon and, uh, you know, theme, theme park games of the past. There's a very, you know, game various games like this. Um, I know they did make a two-point hospital as well, actually. Um, I didn't really play that, but I, I know it existed. That was before Game Pass. I don't think it's on the Game Pass either. But yeah, I think the, I think the game is good. Uh, graphically wise, this is, I'm using the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm using the PC Game Pass. I could use it on the Xbox, but it's harder to record footage for, so I'm using the PC. And it looks good. The graphics it lags just a little bit, maybe, but that probably that's obviously just my computer rather than... Uh, the game itself. I think this is a solid game so far at least. I mean obviously we, we need to play it more. Whether there's longevity in this would be my argument. I mean you, you basically are building a score but in terms of managers and so forth it would be interesting to see how in depth uh, that is in order to keep people wanting to play for long term. 
So for now, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching. Please, if, if you liked this video, sorry, please subscribe and like. See you later.